Hey, what up guys, Ryan PC Battle Stations, and do you guys want to build a PC today? Yeah. Thought so. So we're going to go ahead and build in this very unique case. Uh, it is the new one from Dark Flash that they sent over. It's the DLH21, which is a mini ITX case. And as you can see, it's uh, you know rectangular, and it has some RGB on the bottom, uh, which is kind of cool. It's really unique. Uh, they also sent over their AIO, which is the Twister uh, DX240. It's a 200 fill, 40 millimeter uh, AIO. And um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to build. We're pretty much going to take a look at the features of this case. Normally what I want to do with my new builds is also show us some gaming benchmarks. Uh, but unfortunately in this case, one of the bad things about this case is it has only uh, room for a GPU that has two expansion slots. All the GPUs that I have right now is a three slot GPU. Uh, also everyone around me that I have, uh, does not they don't have a two slot GPU. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use my very old GPU that's in my old system that I built in like 2012. Uh, only to get a GPU in there. So if you want to get this case, make sure that your GPU is a two expansion slot GPU, uh, or you can also use integrated graphics, which means that your CPU outputs the graphics. You can also do that too. So let's go ahead and let's start the build and let's take a look at the features and the cooling in this bad boy. Let's do this. All right, the motherboard we're gonna use is the Aorus X570. And it's a mini ITX board to fit in this mini ITX case. Look how small that guy is. All right, let's drop the CPU on in. Flip the lever. Arrow, arrow, drops right in, no forcing. Drop that right on in here, boom. All right, NVMe. The RAM we're gonna be installing is the V-Color, um, 16 gig, and this is speed 4133 megahertz. So we're going to install these things. We're going to install this uh, M.2 PCIe RGB Fulfill Kit. Look at that. It's even got my grave down there. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Nice. Thanks, guys. Thanks, V-Color. Click, click. Click, click. All right, per the manual, looks like uh, when they install the AIO, uh, they install the fans on the inside, so it looks like they're gonna be exhausting hot air out. This mini ITX case only takes a small form factor uh, PSU, so we got a Seasonic uh, 650 watt gold 80 plus. I'm gonna put this in here, just a little guy. All right, let's get everything tested out before we actually put everything in the case and find out a component doesn't work. And uh, we're gonna flip this PSU on, and we're gonna make sure that the motherboard works, all these other components work, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on by kind of jumping on the front panel and the power switch. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that these are connected and see if it turns on. It looks like we have some power, at least from the AIO. So that's good, we got power from the motherboard. Um, so yeah, everything's looking good. Now let's drop the motherboard into the case. Before we mount the AIO, let's go ahead and slip the PSU in, run some cables. This is gonna be tight. 
Make sure we have the fan point on the outside so we can get some fresh air. All right, now that we got all the rustiness of cables connected, um, let's go ahead and drop this AIO in and uh, start managing some cables and drop the GPU in. All right, the AIO is in and uh, we got a small rat's nest of cables and we're gonna go ahead and put in my old GPU since it only has two slots and then uh, we'll go ahead and test out the cooling in this beast. All right, let's go ahead and put the side panels on and the top and let's button it all up. As you can see all the top cables flow through here on top. All right, so we turned everything on and I was getting ready to test it and configure everything. Uh, I was not able to see anything because it looks like my GPU is too old and is not compatible with the motherboard, which, all right, instant fail. So we're not able to test this out, uh, which brings to the point of this case. You know, it's a nice a mini ITX case. Uh, it's very unique and it's really cool. It has a lot of cool lights that you can actually uh, change the lights on uh, the button on top. Uh, but I really wanted to get in there and kind of test um, you know, the cooling in this case, uh, which I think it would do a fairly decent job of cooling. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not have a GPU that was a two expansion slot GPU. I did not have an AMD CPU that had integrated graphics, so I was not able to get in here. So if this is something uh, that would work for you when you have a GPU that works or you run integrated graphics, then this would work for you. Um, but other than that, you know, it's a fairly good case. I always like Dark Flash and uh, their AIO was pretty cool too. I'm sure it does a fairly good job of cooling too. Um, so we failed testing this case. But that's okay. We were able to build in it and it looks cool, um, but I kind of want to see cooling and uh, graphics and stuff like that. But, oh well, we move on. So uh, we'll wrap this one up and then um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys liked it.